Oh, you hit the button. With little to no warning, we're live. It happens just like that. On Um, time. Yeah. (laughs) Rare, the rare event that happens. Yeah. So, so for those of you who weren't in the green room before the show, um, well, first, I mean, we should say, welcome to Gear Report. Yeah, exactly. Um, This is interesting. Apparently, I set up stream elements to go ahead and post things during the show, but I keep forgetting to actually log in and tell it to do anything else. So it pops in and gives us this note, you know, Gear Report is now live streaming talk shows and podcasts this week at Gear Report episode 167 for the 22nd of June 2023. So that's nice. It gives me a little reminder that uh, that we need to, to do that. What we're doing. Show identification. Yeah. So anyhow, that, that's kind of cool that that popped up there. So uh, it is this week at Gear Report. Thank you for, for throwing that up on the screen. And um, the discussion right before the show went live was that uh, I show up very shortly before the show starts. And TJ, yeah, I can see the look in his eyes. He's freaking out like, oh, we're going to be late. We're going to be late. We're going to be late. Yeah, I, and then all of a sudden it's like, I just, I, I'm walking around, I'm turning lights on, I'm repositioning yeah. things. And then I'm like, oh, look at that. Eight seconds left. I hit the button and we go live right on time. I, don't, I usually and don't start worrying. Like, but, but he's active. He keeps saying, well, I don't worry, but you could tell. So, you wouldn't listen, have been if you weren't worried. At five, I'm not worried at five minutes. When we get down to two minutes, that's when I'm like, all right, I'm going to send yeah. Jeff a message. Like, see what's going on. And I was getting ready to, and then <laughs> whoop, there he is. So he's, yeah. So Jeff needs approximately two minutes to prep for the show. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, when uh, when you care so much about your program <laughs> that you give a full two minutes of prep time, I, know. I think that speaks volumes about what you're in for on this program. So uh, with that, that, a heartfelt welcome to everyone in the audience. Uh, we saw Ghost Tacticals out there. We appreciate you. Ghost All the Tacticals. Wifey. So, so I want to show you something. All right. We're, we're going to go back for a second. All right. Oi, 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 oi. I don't even know what the hell Ghost is going on about here. Crystal is our model citizen who's going to show us how to do it. She capitalized the first one because it's the beginning of a sentence. Now, there is an option where you can do a capital Y on all of them for Just your yo yo yos. You know what? It's not required. Okay. Yeah. But but that's that. I think that's reasonable to say Crystal did it right. Uh, Ghost was being just dis- dis- excited. Honcho's an overachiever. Oh, dude. Okay. With the capital everything yo 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 not only three yo's but he did three yo's three times he's getting ahead of somebody somebody's going to come in and not do the three yo's and he'll be like hunter's like i got you covered i'm good yeah yeah maybe i don't know yeah. so if if anyone's confused what what the hell are we talking about with all the yo's that is the official greeting for this week at gear report um <laughs> for some reason <laughs> yeah really for some reason I can't even um, remember What's the reason? I don't know. How did that start? Oh, that reminds me. You know, I I told you uh, on the phone recently in in one of our many, uh, you know, you call with something important to talk about. I ramble for 27 minutes about other things and then catch my breath. And then I ramble about some other things. Um, But during the rambling, I mentioned something about going back and watching episode number one. Oh yeah yeah yep oh my goodness now i'm gonna put ghost back on the screen because ghost tactical was part of episode number one do you remember who else was there we have four total oh, you and i were two of them ghost was one that only leaves one left i mean it had to be clover it was yeah clover tack ghost tactical jeff and tj that was episode number one Lord, he was born a rambling man, says Ghost Tactical. I have to remind mm-hmm. myself that because this is available in audio podcast form, we can't just react to what we put on the screen. We actually have to tell people what it is we're putting on the screen. Uh, I can. You have to read it now. Well, one of us does. I mean, as a service <laughs> to our audience. I mean, if we're being honest, we don't have to do anything. We do uh-huh. whatever we want. And if you know, we can say... If you want to know what's going on, what we're what we're talking about, laughing at, go watch the video and you'll see it. But that would be kind of rude, in my opinion. I don't want to do that. For the yeah, uh, for the anyhow, people. episode number Is one, Gary. Trademark yo yo yeah. yeah, whatever. 
So um, we're going to owe him a bunch of money one day. Uh, no, we're not. If by we you mean Dollars. you, that's between you and him. I, <laughs> I'm not participating in that extortion scheme that you and Gary <laughs> appear to be cooking up together. <laughs> so, anyhow, going back to that first episode, it was so painful uh, because Ghost and Clover have been podcasting for a while. And as usual, they're just smooth. They, you know, um, I was trying to facilitate and run the program. And I didn't know what I was doing. And it was so painful to watch. And you didn't get to say much because, you know, everyone else was uh, was was uh, talking a lot. But, uh, oh, my God, listening to myself is always painful, but even more so on that episode number one. So uh, Ghost Tactical says, I never got my commemorative watch for being on episode number one. Dude, I didn't either. What the hell? Crazy. As soon as it shows up on Vine. Someone dropped the ball. Definitely. Someone dropped the ball. Was it Clover? I blame Clover. Uh, it does seem like a, a task that would have been assigned to the tactical leprechaun. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go with uh, he who is not here to defend himself is the one who is responsible. And that would be Chris from Clover Tech Productions. We'll send him, we'll send him a note tomorrow at randomly like, hey, where's our commander and watches? He'll be like, what are you guys talking about? Like, hmm. You missed the show. See, Ghost Blames yep. Clover too. Yeah. Which I think is only Clover. reasonable. Yeah. He's not here. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, you know, nine, nine tenths of, uh, what is it? Possession is nine tenths of the law. I think that mm. is true for blame as well. Um, <laughs> if you're not here, then that is nine tenths of the law uh, of possession for blame. So, or something like that. Anyhow, I, I bring up episode one being so heinously bad yeah. because I feel like we've come a long way. I really do. Uh, we're just bad now. I like, so. We have moved past heinous yes. a long time ago. Yeah. In my mind, at least. Okay. So I need to shut a couple more things down. While I did show up and ease right into the program, I did not pre-open any of the windows that i like to open beforehand so bear with me i'm probably about to go all robotic on everyone it's gonna open oh, ten thousand tabs yep yep so we'll talk about uh tj will talk about a condor 42 inch double rifle case oh yay and a mepro light true, true vision, vision. mepro two true vision We've yep. got a look at Primary Arms' first foray into the binoculars market with the SLX, uh, a 10 by 42 binoculars. Uh, I, I think I'll talk about that one. Caleb sent that in. Um, but the one I'm most excited wow. about, uh, talking about, really? What? We're all excited about it. About what? What you, what you want to talk about the most. And what is that? Was it your chat gpt song they made isn't that the most engaging thing we have to talk about i mean seriously <laughs> the 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 name of that article I'm, is I'm, chat gpt wrote a song called this week at gear report i'm so pissed i didn't even get it right uh it actually says this week at gear report podcast campfire song and mm -hmm. that was a painful experience and it was a blow to my ego definitely working with chat GTP and then Google has a version of the AI that they call Bard. And um, neither one of them got things right, but Bard, oh my goodness, we, we may, let's see how the show goes. We may save this one and do it on another program. We may talk about it later, but we may do some live searches on Bard at some point because I want to see if they have fixed it yet. But, if you if you have not played with AI yet to experience how it deals with ambiguity, I encourage you to go run some. Like if you're worried about AI taking over, you should be worried. It should terrify you when you see how much crap that it just makes up. Like oh, yeah. I know where it got some of the information from. Like it would say, "This week at Gear Report is a program where uh, hosted by." So in, in all the things I put out, it says Jeff, TJ, and Komar lately. But it made up last names for us. <laughs> for 
What what was yours again? I don't even remember what yours was. It wasn't cool. TJ, what? It was it was something weird. And and mine was nothing like my actual last name. Like not even it was the wrong end of the alphabet. It wasn't even close. Um and it said with authority, things that we talked about recently were things we've never talked about ever. I'm like, how do you just make all this stuff up? You know? Seriously. Uh, Long show. That's how the Terminator started. The Terminator movie started. Yep. Oh my yeah. goodness. I don't doubt that. It it's just yeah. the, the part that blew me away. Arsenal. AI will be it will be the death of us because people people will type stuff in there and believe it, and we're like, oh, they're wrong. How it just made things up, like it would fill in. It had three names, three, three, two first names and a last name. It, it could have stopped with the first names. But who knows? Who knows what Komar is? You know, I think we've left Komar uh, purposely ambiguous because that's what he has chosen to go by on this program. Dude's got a first name and a last name. We don't tell you what it is or 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 any of it. AI at least took a pass on that and said we're not even going to attempt. We're just going to call him Komar. But they gave TJ a last name. They gave me a last name. Weren't in the right ballpark Not at all. Talked about recent reviews that were products that we hadn't touched. I'm like, no, I'd, I'd be down for reviewing a SIG P365 XL. But it literally said we talked about it recently. Like, the hell we did. No. Crazy. Crazy. They all listed right. a Maxim Defense 300 blackout. I think it was a pistol. It said we talked about yeah. recently. Never heard of it. We are sponsored by Maxim Defense. We camped out in their booth at Shot Show three or four times during last Shot Show. I swear I've never seen the ma- the model of Maxim firearm that they were talking about. Like they AI they made, made that up. up. Too. They made up from scratch a new model. I've heard people refer to it as uh, AI hallucination or something like that. I think it's on acid, basically. That's 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 what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. So you knew the show was going to get fun when we started oh, talking yeah. about that stuff. Since since we've already been since I just dove right in and have been talking about this anyway, we may as well put up on the screen and uh, kill my internet. And oh, I gotta click the other button. Dang it. There you go. Yep. I and you know what? I went the extra mile during this one and I I did this AI experiment where I said, um, write a four chord campfire song with this week at gear report about the this week at gear report podcast. Okay. I type that in, I get it back, and I'm like, oh. This is so crazy. I'm going to have to put this. I'm going to make this into an article because I was just doing it. I was doing some recreational AI songwriting, right? And uh, looking for that that number one seller. Oh, hey, man. We, we hadn't hit too many things out of the park recently here at Gear Report. So I'm looking for something to get us on the charts, right? Yeah. I actually fired up the camera, threw a guitar on, and recorded a video just so I could get a screen grab to make right here. Like this was just uh, me making up crap to, to make it look like I was singing something. And I was playing the guitar and everything. Uh, I wasn't actually trying to do these lyrics because I couldn't figure out how to make them work. Like it, it didn't make sense to me. Right. Um, cool. So what I'm getting you, out of this is there's no video to this. of you doing? No. That? But I did get um, last week. I don't remember if it was still here. I think it was here last week. Like last Thursday, a guitar showed up and it was broken. Oh, and yeah, yeah, so yeah. I that boxed it up week. Friday and sent it back. The replacement arrived today. Was it broken? Um, no, oddly it wasn't. But Ooh. bizarre. But well, we'll we'll get to that. That, we'll, say that's we'll, the other segment that everybody's waiting that, for. That'll be right. Everyone's favorite segment. Yeah, that yeah. we call Guitar Begin. We will get to that in a little bit. Um, why do I throw my arms up and make that weird sound? I don't know, but I have learned to back away from the microphone because I kind of yell Guitar Mageddon. I don't want to hurt mm-hmm. anyone's ears or, you know, I try to be professional in my lack of professionalism. Um, 
professionally non-professional. Every That's once in a while, you, every once in a while, you get it right. Yeah, yeah. I'm never. I I'm, mistake, I, probably. I just stay on the other side of it. So anyhow, we, we'll have to play with this at some point. If the show hits a hits a rut at some point, we're gonna pull up one of the different AI platforms and and see what we can get out of it. Um, and we 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 are gonna have to open up Bard and and see what last names it gives us because I'm still pissed about that. But anyhow. <laughs> I, and I actually had a follow up in mind. Like maybe, maybe this would be every Monday. I open up one of the AI platforms and try to get it to write me a song until I come up with something good. But like, if you if you read through this, you know what? I'm going to put the link out here in the comments. If anyone wants to look at it, it's like it talks about guitars and it talks about being around a campfire or something. I'm like a campfire song is a type of song. It doesn't mean you, you have to sing about being in a campfire. That's not what a campfire song is like the contextually. I think I missed that, but it talked about a whole bunch of guitar stuff and gadgets and gear for camping we're primarily a gun channel the past several years. Not a damn word about guns at all. None. I'm like, what's going on here? Didn't make any no. sense. I was really upset about that. You'd think they'd have thrown a mention in for the sponsor, Maxim Defense. We could sing Maxim Defense in there somewhere. somewhere. Maxim Defense. Whatever. We'll throw it in there. You give me a melody, man. Just give I'm me a jingle. Say, so we, need, yeah. we just need a jingle. <laughs> We're going to... Maybe we'll do that. Maybe yeah, the yeah. next one we do will be, uh, we'll we'll ask gear report GPT jingle to write us a jingle, uh, a gear report jingle about being sponsored by Maxim Defense. <laughs> yep. All right. So anyhow, the, that that right. was our first article, and uh, and I've got my complaints at the bottom, and you can read through uh, those at your leisure. All those. Okay. Yeah. There, there are, there are a number of them. Is that when you're trying that to educate one? the AI? Oh my goodness. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Dick Nibbit. All right. Um, let's talk about the condor. All right. I'm remembering to click add to stream this time. So we there get you that go. Up there. And, and TJ's going to talk about this. I'd like to toss a, a welcome to the program out to Ryan Todd. Good to see you. Uh, please, Ryan, make the rounds at your house. Give a high five to everyone in your family on my behalf. Uh, if you don't mind. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying I think they all earned some high fives. So if you take care of that for me, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah the uh, the Condor uh, double rifle case. Uh, I, Condor was awesome. They're like, yeah, we'll send you a double rifle case. You, they sent you some what? Some clothes, some pants and stuff. Out of that. Yeah. So uh, I was needing. I was in desperate need of yeah. rifle cases because all I have is these stupid um, hard cases that you know you can get one one rifle in. So they sent this one, and it, uh, dude, it it did well. I mean, if, it ha if I fit the the fifty one fifty uh, Evolve fifteen in there, I got the Mike one hundred two in there. I had. Like 400 rounds of ammo, I think six mags. Wow. And I just, you know, it's got plenty of storage and everything. The, I couldn't figure out the, the, it has backpack straps. So you can wear it as a backpack. And they kept getting in the way. And finally, I'm like, oh, there's a pocket back here. You, you can stuff them down <laughs> in that pocket and get them out of the way. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just be yeah. dragging them everywhere. And so finally, after, you know, a month of using it, I figured that out. Um, and then I was much happier with it. <clears throat> So it, it did good. I didn't. I loaded that thing whole, full. Nothing broke. Zippers are solid. That's good. It's got Molly all over it. It looks like so you can attach on front, stuff on the to front. it. Yep. Yeah, you can take all those yep. pouches off and put. You know, if you want different stuff on there, you can. Like I took the one yep. off, and I usually keep, I usually keep my med kit on it. That's just smart. because you know it happens. I've you seen, do shoot a lot of more, ranges. Yeah. The the more you watch YouTube, the more you're like, I should keep this with me all the time. Yeah, you never know when you're going to be shooting by Tex Grebner. I figured you, I figured you like that uh, that picture there. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. I love that uh, limited edition patch. I oh know. my god! You know, speaking of that patch, I was over um, last week. 
Uh-huh. I went over to Chris's to shoot some video on more um, 3D printer stuff. I don't remember what day it was. It, we may have talked about this last week. I don't remember. But while I was over there, he mentioned something about losing that thing that I gave him. And I'm like, what are you talking about? When he finally identified it was the patch, I was like, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, Jesus. Like, like, what? Like, it's dude, you don't understand. Ever. I only got a hundred of those. And that was a couple years ago. And the reason I still have a f- couple left <laughs> is you got to pry those out of my hands. I willingly Pretty much you do. One. Yep. And, uh, and you immediately. I had to pry them out of your hands. I know. I know. He made me lease one for a while. And then finally, I, he just gave it It was to a me lease to own. You yeah. had the option yeah. to purchase. <laughs> Once I did uh, enough reviews with it, with it feature, then he was like, okay, you can, you can yeah. use that one. Well, you know, first you get to hold it. <laughs> and then at some point it's like okay you can put it on a bag but not a bag you carry every day okay and then you work up to you can have it on your daily carry bag awesome and I'm or finally there if you if you really do well then uh, uh then you get to have it on your clothing here's one on this arm mm-hmm. oh my goodness there's one on the other arm too. Yeah, Look at dude, patch hoarder. Look at you. I know. I am. I am a patch hoarder. He's he's uh, just loosey goosey with the patches for him. Everybody else is like, who knew? Yeah, I'd try to hide it, but you know, it's pretty obvious. Somebody's gonna People. you're gonna wear that jacket one day. Somebody's gonna run up, rip a patch off of there, and take off running. They'll be like, that's right, I got one. Yeah. yeah. It'll be me. I suspected. <laughs> yes. Oh, he finally rolled out of bed. What's up, snob? <laughs> yeah. With a very non-committal um yeah. yo question mark. Uh, so the gun snobs kind of joined us ish. It's here ish. It's all right. Yeah. All right. So that we'll takes care of the bag. The bag. Let me see. Did I do this right? My no. Favorite. Ah, that's okay. I see what I did. I was sharing a window. I wanted to share the whole screen. So we're going to share the screen on monitor number dose. Oh. And uh, that, then when I shut one, it won't like shut the whole window. There you go. Yeah. So TJ is going to talk about the, and we, I forgot to change the banner. We're on recent reviews here at this week's yeah, okay. report. So recent reviews. So it, looks like a, it looks like a baby version of the RDS to me. Sort of, it is. It is. It's got instead instead of using the double A's, it uses the uh, that's the CA one two three. You can see it in that picture right there with the, the giant knob. Uh-huh. That's where it goes. In. <laughs> um, so yeah. instead of the you know the two double A's in front of it, it uses that. Which you know I like double A's are super cheap, and I have hundreds of them lying around. But yeah, uh, this one, dude, this one worked well. I threw it on everything I had in the Wolfpack Armory, the Evolve fifteen, the Mike one hundred two. I had it on my. Uh, my Anderson that I built. Nice. Um, I dropped it several times, <laughs> purposely and accidentally. How many, just in case. That's what I was going to say. How many were on purpose, and how many were just, uh, you know, three were on purpose, and two were not. The review. <laughs> two. Were, two were, I was just I was just going from you know gun to gun, and I was at the at the range. Uh, where were we at? Uh, Aries. We were at the Aries Training Center. I was with Keith. Uh. And I had it on the, um, I even put it on that, uh, my eight, six blackout. And I was, I just set it down on the bag and right. I moved the bag just a second. And all of a sudden tick, 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 bouncing around. I'm like, Oh, geez, there it goes. Put it back on. Oh, still on. Still you good are to go. such a diligent product tester. I'm telling I you, yeah. I'm, I'm going to give you a remote high five for that because that was, was a way to test the durability. But, uh, yeah, th- this thing did freaking awesome, man. It, it, uh, I shot it like dusk morning, all the afternoons, I never had any issues with uh, finding the dot or, you know, if the battery, yeah. I'm still using the same battery. I never shut it off. I just leave it on. <laughs> just, right. it's got the, it's got the self, you know, the self sleep. So I go, so fall asleep after a while. So right. I suppose the last for, I, I noticed years, that years yeah. it says, um, but it was yeah. super easy to adjust. It has the, the big slots for the uh, windage and elevation, which it always, Mm. drives me crazy sometimes with the the red dots and they have this little tiny thing and you have to have a screwdriver and i'm like mm-hmm. i was like what do i got to line around here oh perfect five five six shell 
Yep. So, but uh, yeah, I love this thing. I still have yeah. it. It's on. Yeah. It's on the Evolve 15 still. And the one thing I that has a little um, the bonus was it has a little extra shroud. You could you could put you know change it from different colors. Just the just the. So hood. do you like take one off and you put the other one on? Yeah, yeah it's four it little screws. No, no, it's four little screws, and then the the hood just pops off, and you put the other one on, put the screws back in. Well, that's neat. Which I, yep, the, the Mepro condom. No, no, I did. Do I need to go edit that out? Uh, no. Maybe. You know no, what? No, no. That's too bad. That's what I'm going to call it. If <laughs> they don't like do it, it. If right. they don't like it, then I awesome. sincerely apologize. But there you uh, go. But uh, no, yeah. it did. It did really well. Like I said, it. Soaking wet, you know, dropped many times and it got doused, it got submerged. I was like, yeah. Just did just you drop it in the pool? pool? I don't have the pool anymore. What? What I happened? Get rid of the pool. I get rid of the pool. Oh, that's terrible. Dude, it was it was green. I was tired of taking care of it. Crystal was tired of taking care of it. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Nuke it. So wow. No pool, but definitely soaked several times. So it's one of my favorites. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, the Meprolite RDS Pro is one of my all-time favorites. It is my go-to uh, for a rifle that I'm going to beat the shit out of or uh, like an air pistol, anything with a rail on it. That mm -hmm. has been for like five years or more my go-to optic to throw on it. Uh, yep. I'm kind of mixing it up with the, uh, the SIG AMG UH-1 lately but but still that rds pro has been my go-to um yep. so when when you said you were getting like the baby version of it i was like oh i'm jealous because i yeah. love the rds pro it's big it's well, I, had the, I had the pro was, the pro v2 big. the first yeah. one i did was the pro v2 yeah oh, I, know. It was, it, I know it was i know size. yeah i know yeah <laughs> oh you know <laughs> i know it's yeah. it's eotech because size. i wanted so, to oh. yeah so I, I go between now. Now this is my my favorite, and then the, I go between the uh, the already has uh, Pro Two, and then the my EOTech. Those are my those are my three mm -hmm. I do. But whatever I want to shoot, I use this one now. Yep, cool. All right, it was a good review. By All the right. way, that was four out of five gears. Yep, which is a pretty good grade, by the way. It was. Uh, I'll talk about the, you know what, before we talk about that, let, let's catch up do? here. We've oh, got yeah. Comments. Gary has two of those patches. How the hell did he get two? Oh, Gary. Hunter doesn't gonna, have any of them. I'm going to turn you up down, upside <laughs> down and shake until they fall out of your pockets. Hunter said it'd be really nice. Uh, to have he may have purchased pack. one, though, to be honest. Um, <laughs> You know, th there were 200. From Gary, made. Gary I has two. Apparently, they're I got a hundred of them. The other hundred were part of the patch batch that uh G Web's put together. Come on, oh it's a patch goodness. too. I'm gonna have to send patches out to people. Oh, Jesus, that's the end. We're gonna have to get another patch done. Another batch You're killing me, smalls. Uh, so if you guys want them, um. You know, for for the folks here who are active gear report contributors, you know, Komar comes on the show fairly regularly. I'm I'm sure I can slide one his direction. Honcho Fett just published something not too long ago. Um I'm trying to think. Plus plus he's the only person that that somewhat regularly appears on this program or or even in the comments who has known me longer than TJ. So only by like two years, maybe, but yeah. still, yeah. we're still in the the multi multi decade, decade. time frame here. So, <laughs> good job that that by itself earns you a patch. Uh, you, yeah, he deserves a patch, dude. That's what I'm saying. Yep, price is going up. Well, everyone that goes out means there are that much fewer. That that, that I think actually, fewer. I was looking around. I've got one, two. I think I've only got three of them. <laughs> I've I've only got the two that were on that jacket. I was I was stealthy. Jeff was we're I think I think we were at Shot Show one time and I didn't have I had a patch on my bag and we were taking pictures and stuff and Jeff whipped out the old patch from his pocket and he put it there. Yeah. And then I picked pocket it up and put it in my pocket. I said mm -hmm. that way I have one where that pictures. went. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be on eBay. Clever. 
fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So anyhow, Caleb is not here. Our our mysterious hunting editor, who is rumored to exist, although I've seen, seen him. him, I haven't seen him once. in a couple years. I think, like in person. No, he went to gathering. What did he go to? Was gathering? he at the get this past gathering? Oh, so it's been less than a couple yeah. years. Yeah. All right, Caleb. I take that back. I have seen you more recently. Well, almost um, once a year, though. At the rate we're going, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, we're we're the last five years. We're like yeah. you know, seen each other five times, maybe. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, but that, that's okay. Uh, there are a number of people on the Gear Report team that I have never seen in person, um, or like maybe I see them at Shot Show once a year or something like that. So so it's okay. Uh, Caleb lives an hour and a half from me. You'd expect we we get together and shoot, but it doesn't happen as much as you would think. So, but. He, he is our hunting editor, and yep. um, therefore he focuses on hunting type stuff. And binoculars are really good. Uh, and this is something that I learned when I had an uncomfortable situation where I was up in a tree stand and I saw something moving on the other side of the field. And I went to pull up the rifle to look through the scope to, to identify is that deer because it was deer season. And, and it wasn't. It was actually coyotes. But I thought to myself, what if it was what if it was right. people coming out of the woods and they look up me. and see me across the field pointing a rifle at them? Like, I don't want to identify targets by looking through the scope because that means I have to actually point the, the rifle at them. That so binoculars, sense. like, because I had said before, why the hell would I carry binoculars? I have a monocular. Right, right here that it serves my purpose of identifying the target and then i gotta if it's binoculars i gotta look and then put them down then get the rifle but not having to aim a firearm at someone when you're identifying if it's a target or like a yeah. don't shoot at target that's worthwhile to have a pair of binoculars so that you're not pointing guns at people unnecessarily um yeah it took a while for that to sink in for me when it did i was like oh my more people need to know about binoculars. Right. So, um, Caleb's done a few binoculars um, reviews over the years, and uh, four and a half out of five, he's digging Ooh. these from Primary Arms. And the thing is, it's like brand new. They've never done binoculars before. This is their first right. attempt at binoculars. To, to come out swinging for the fences with a four and a half out of five, that's pretty stellar. Um, and, oh, you know, I keep forgetting to put the article links in the chat i like i missed the last one so you just have to go to your report and find it if you want to see the other one because it's that, awesome that opportunity has passed us by you can post that link tj it's your article yeah. won't you post that link um while i'm talking about this um you see his pros well built good glass affordable uh there is a little edge distortion in the um in the cons column and he listed that it only comes in gray, which I find ironic because if you know Caleb at all, you know that he actually found his way onto the gear report team because of his skill at changing the color of things with spray paint. Um, I saw in some gun group, he posted a tutorial on how to do this really neat kind of spray paint applied with a sponge a uh, camo pattern and i was like dude that's an awesome write-up do you want to adapt it to an article and publish it and next thing you know he's a regular gun writer here at gear report so he yeah, go hunting a lot so it's not it helps out a lot with for us because i don't hunt well anymore. right he he lives in his hunting <laughs> area yeah. like he can literally walk out on his back porch and hunt from his back porch <laughs> i'm hunting or his front porch yeah, it goes back out. Like, eh, it's too cold outside. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, he, he's got an article on how to layer. Uh, 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 well, there's a different article about layering, but uh, but he's got one uh, detailing all the, the different types of clothes you would need to stay warm when you're hunting. So he, he's pretty good with that. But, As he's all right, what else sitting, do you have here? sitting, poking a rifle out his kitchen window in the heat. Like, this is fantastic. Hey, I would. 
wearing a plate carrier because he posts yeah. videos all the time of like mopping the floor or vacuuming the house wearing a plate carrier. And I'm oh, like, because yeah. right, dude, man, if you don't do, do it right, it. the wife will. I don't blame him. Yeah. 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 Um, so here's the weekly reminder. This week at Gear Report is also available in audio podcast form. So we're displaying here on the screen for those in audio podcast form the review the the list of all the reviews that that we talked about last week. A little bit of description about the show, and then the actual audio podcast where you can download the file, play it in a window, play in the lit. There's actually a little audio podcast player on the website, as well as links to Amazon Podcast, Apple Podcast, Pandora, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, iHeartRadio. And if you Google This Week at Gear Report Podcast, you'll find a bazillion other places you can listen to it. The, I, th I, I thought know, you were going to read them all bars. off. Um, I would, but... It would take too long. I was going to say, in, in 20 see, minutes, Jeff finished just reading say, all the, all the places. Say, I was thinking, you know, if I say that, if I say I'm not going to read them all... The audience may feel like I just don't care enough, but right. but it's the opposite. I care too much to read all of them to you because it's too many places. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. You don't want to hear all that. I care all right. too much. So anyhow, that was a reminder. He does. And a link. You can go under the. We got two menus, two like menu bars on the Gear Report website. At the top, the orange one has you know high level stuff, and then you come down to the gray one. It's mostly categories. At the far right. We have live shows, and you can find this week at Gear Report podcast in there, and you have links to all of the old programs. Well, not all of them. Mm. I mean, we're on episode 167 this week. There's a bunch of them. There's probably more than you want to listen to. We'll just leave it at that. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, no, I'll listen to all. And I I highly encourage people. Um, to think twice before you go re-listen to episode one of this week at gear report because <laughs> i made it through about three and a half minutes and was like oh my Nick, goodness how so did you I made it through so the bad? intro yep Mo mostly through the intro and i was like oh this is too painful <laughs> um anyhow so there we go that wraps up the segment that we lovingly call recent reviews uh, which means that uh, before we dive into the the next segment, reviews that will be published soon, we're gonna go. We're gonna just pull a hard right. Do it, you know, like cranking the wheel. We're going off road to the little segment that we like to call Guitar Mageddon. There we All go. Right. And we we had a preview of this last week. All right. Mm -hmm. um, look at, look at this. Is this the non-damaged one? This is the non-damaged one. All right. Let me get this thing off the screen. And I'm going to take the screen because no one oh, that's right. you take wants the to just see TJ. I know. Ooing and awing over this guitar the whole time. I mean, yeah, they don't want to see me is, drooling uh, at the guitars. It's like a copy of a Gibson, uh, what is it, a 335 semi-hollow Um kind of blues jazz type guitar but this arrived the the first version of this arrived last week with a big crack right along between my fingers here it was four and a half inches long where the wood was actually splitting up it had been dropped and impacted and it split it open uh, so it went back and they sent a new one that has a variety of differences. Like the old one had little dot inlays. This has the fancier block inlays uh, in the in the fretboard here, and a variety of different little things. Like this has they call it a poker chip, the little black ring around the switch here. Um, there, there were a variety of things. I, I actually uh, back here where this neck joint comes in is a little bit different. Um, it was really bizarre how many differences there were in this. But anyhow, I think I'm into this for like $110, and it's very comparable to like a $600 uh, Epiphone uh, nice. version of a 335. Uh, it is just, I, I played this for probably two hours this afternoon, and it is absolutely, looks like an old man guitar, in my opinion. 
And I never wanted one of these, but once I started playing it, I was like, holy crap, it sounds awesome. And then the pickups are really hot, which means if you put some distortion on it, it sounds like a, a freaking rock and roll beast, like a heavy metal beast. Um, so, I mean, the plan was to get this, get the review videos up on Amazon and on the Guitar Gear Report YouTube channel and then get rid of it. I may have to keep this one, which uh -oh. is rough because I like if I keep it, it means I got to clear out a different one because I've got too many. Mm -hmm. Like I've, I've accumulated too many that I bought to do reviews on like like this one right here. The yeah. the they call it a Squire Sonic Mustang. That was supposed to be shoot the review video, sell it like within a week. It's gone. They have to sell it. I keep look why well, I keep lowering the price and no one's bought it yet. I'm like, come on, people. It's like really nice. I don't know why no one's buying it yet, but I'm afraid yeah. to go down any further. Like I'm already losing money on it. And it's like practically brand new. Like, you know, most people, they buy them, they play them for a while. They get rid of them. Like I played it for a day, shot the videos I needed. <laughs> and it's just been hanging here. Like it is literally, you go to guitar center and buy one off the wall that's been played 12 times as much as this. It has right. scratches on it and everything. This is brand new. And like, no one's bought it yet. I can't figure that out. I'd raise the um, price. But then, well, I may. That may work. That Well, like this white one here, um, I put it up a little bit high on the website. I haven't put it up on Facebook Marketplace or on, um, I'm going to have to check, make sure it's not on Reverb. Um, I actually had someone offer, like, oh, I see what you have it listed. And I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to sell that one. Well, but it's listed. I was like, yeah, I changed my mind. I'm not going to sell it. Yeah. Well, how about I give you the full amount? I was like, well, okay, first, that was the price. Like your <laughs> assumption that you were giving me less <laughs> than the full amount is kind of silly. But number two, I'm not going to sell it. <clears throat> I like it too much. Like I'm not selling it. Um, the guy got pissy. He was going to buy another one. And he said, well, but I want, I, but then I saw that and I want that one now. It's like, well, that's not for sale. You can buy the other one. Well, I don't want that one. I decided I want this one. Well, here's an Amazon link. It's eight hundred dollars. You know, knock yourself out because but I'm not selling my, this one. But use my link. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do, dude. I've been doing that when I when I post a guitar. Like I will post. Like I'm probably not going to post this one anytime soon because I've decided I'm going to keep it at least for a while. But like this one, when I post it on Facebook Marketplace, I include a link. Here you can see the specs and check the new price at Amazon. Or if you'd rather have a new one, you know, just here's the link to go buy right. it on Amazon. Because I've had people like send me a note. Like they think they're being clever, like their negotiating tactic is they're going to tell me they can get it on Amazon. Like, then I'm going to beat you to the punch. I'm going to recommend. Yeah. And then if they send me something, well, but I can get it on Amazon. Great. Here's a link. Enjoy. And people they're like no but you're supposed to lower the price like, no like, go buy no. it no go go buy it there i don't care i'm not dropping the price just because you can buy it on amazon yeah you, you can buy almost everything really on amazon you can buy a ton yeah. of stuff on amazon yeah you want to pay an extra you know i i'm already i've taken 30 percent off of the price Ooh. just because it's hanging here it's a bargain if you want to pay more than that then go buy it off of amazon if not come buy it it, or don't i don't care it can hang here maybe that's why it hadn't sold i don't know anyhow it, this is from mono price indio you can get it on amazon i actually got it off the mono price website and and again i i'm absolutely blown away at it it, it feels i compared it to an epiphone which is like the 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 knockoff brand of Gibson. Like you have Gibson and then they make they own Epiphone, which makes copies of Gibson that are cheaper. This actually feels more like a Gibson than an Epiphone to me. Like the more expensive. The Gibson one is 3500 bucks The Epiphone one Ooh. is like five, six hundred dollars. Um yeah, huge difference. And this feels more like a Gibson than an Epiphone to me. And I'm in it for 110 bucks shipped brand new. Crazy. Go crazy but anyhow if you ever want to try guitar stuff mm -hmm. let me know I'll, I'll send you all the links you need to get all the good stuff and save a ton everything. of money while you're doing it everything you need yeah everything
hell, I'll probably I'll send you the links. If you want to save some money, I'll sell you stuff at less than what you get elsewhere. Um, there you go. What, what else you want to hear about? I mean, we're still in Guitar Maged before I shut that down. Do you have any questions or anything that you're I, just dying to see? No, dude. I, I retained all that information. That's a pretty smooth answer. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That means we're moving on to the next segment we call Ooh. Reviews That Will Be Published Soon. And I'll let you talk about that because I, oh. I'm a basket case, bro. You've got, so you I, want, I everybody's wondering, like, man, Jeff's reviews that will be published soon. Reviews that will be published when Jeff gets done playing with guitars. So, <laughs> which, it's a big, well, say, you saw we actually had a bunch of, uh, bunch of stuff today. I was excited. You know what happened? I had I had tracking information on when that red guitar was going to get here, and I was you like, "Time oh, to kill!" I'm going nuts. I'm yeah, a time dude, to kill. You get the, <laughs> they call it NGD. You know, it's like it's like New Gun Day. It's New Guitar Day. Mm -hmm. NGD was kicking in. I was like, "Oh, I can't yeah. focus here. Let me, let me get, do some editing. That'll do right, it. Whatever I get a new gun. Oh, new guns here. Perfect. Like I shut down for the, like. What are you doing? I'm going home. Why? I get all my gear. <laughs> right. going, gonna go. Yeah. Gonna go shooting. You can finish this job today. I'll finish it tomorrow. It's okay. It'll still be there. Yeah. yeah, yeah I've got the uh, what do I got coming up? I'm finishing up the uh, the tough coat from uh, the the duty the duty coat stuff from uh, Modern Spartan Systems. Right. So I'm finishing up that one, and then I've got the uh, the low profile uh, AR handguard from Phoenix Weaponry is getting ready to be mm -hmm. done, and then uh, probably I'm trying to think what's going to be close after that. One more, I got one more Tifosi Optic coming. My the uh, they sent me the shooting glasses, so mm. finish that one. And then I started the old eight six blackout build uh, one. That one's going to be a a lengthy one about my eight six blackout, which is yeah. fantastic because I saw Q is coming out with the new eight six blackout nice. as well. So yep. So good. They, someone needs to shake up that market because eight six dude, hit with a little bit of a splash, and then you don't hear COVID anything about it. it. COVID killed it. Mm. But it's dude. I, I mean, you know, I love it. That's for it, oh. So they're coming out with with new ones. Uh, with this, you know, they. Where were they at? Demo. I think he was on with uh, Demo Matt. Kevin was, and uh, bringing out his new. Forget what it's called. But it's a it's a it's a shorty like like the one I built, and it's super quiet with their suppressor, hmm. which mine's pretty freaking quiet too. Like it's it's as quiet as straight blackout. It just hits way harder. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then the uh, all right the old, so... the old Mike one hundred two from Foxtrot Mike is right there with it, trailing behind. Nice. Just because I got to go shoot it. Good. All right. Well, I think we're we're going to call that a wrap on reviews will be published soon because I've given that? up on trying to even talk about it. I'll just I'll get the stuff when I get to it. <laughs> just like, <laughs> well, just like I, I don't know what I just like I don't here. know what I have coming up. I don't. I, well, I, I mean, I know what's going to happen tomorrow is I got to do the video on the holographic um, heads up display swim oh, goggles, the, the swim goggles. That's nice. late. I was supposed to get that done weeks ago, and I've had some footage that I really wanted to get back to the pool and shoot a couple other angles. And um, my poison ivy is almost cleared up. But it's kind of at a point where I'm afraid if I go get in the water, it's going to flare up again. Because last time I was like, no, it'll be fine. The chlorine will help it. No, it didn't. The chlorine made it spread. I was going like to ask you how your, how your rash was. In the, oh, my goodness. Um, I was listening to the show from two weeks ago. And I'd said I'd had it for a week and a half at that point. I mean, we're looking at I'm, I'm at about a month with this poison ivy. And it just doesn't want to completely go away. It's almost gone. It is so close, but not quite. And I just know that when I go get back in the water, it's going to explode. And yep. it'll be like, oh, back to square one. 
and I don't want to go back to square Problem. one. Like it, like it starts going away, starts going away, and then you have the one spot where you just keep rubbing it, and you're like, oh gosh, like a like a shirt a shirt sleeve or right at your your shorts part. You know, like, I know oh. that's what you meant when you said I keep rubbing it. Oh, I, I know, I know, exactly I know you're not rubbing it because you don't want it there. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. <laughs> so, um, all right, we've done recent reviews. We've done reviews that will be published, published soon. soon. We've done it's Harmageddon. Harmageddon. We've done that. <laughs> um, we're not doing Urban Dictionary Extravaganza. No. I don't know. I'm not in the mood for so that. That's one. not going to happen. Yeah. We, you know, we had it. We, we were just starting where to is, get yeah. where in the world is Kevin because he was traveling all the time. And where in the world meant, you know, like where is he broadcasting from? You know what I noticed? Kevin Kinzer is cheating on us. He has launched his own podcast with someone else and stopped coming to ours. And he never so, even said anything. Like, you little bastard, you could at least say, hey, guys, I'm starting my own. Would you come be on it? Hmm. Or would you mention it to people? Yeah. He didn't even tell me. I had to stumble on it. I feel, little, little I feel betrayed. Like cheated on. I do. That's the word I was groping for, actually, betrayed betrayed kevin i feel betrayed <laughs> um so where is he i don't know <laughs> i just you know. don't know a reminder that uh, we do have a coupon for right to bear if you need some uh oh, yeah. whatever they call that uh their coverage i can't remember what they call it you can use the code gear 10 to get uh, right to bear. I know we used to call it insurance. They call it coverage now, like gun owner coverage or yeah. something. Yep. You got to do something to get in trouble before the coverage kicks in, apparently, which means that I should probably sign up for it because I'm, I'm bound to get in trouble at some point, but, Oh yeah, but not yet. Uh, well, and, and I'd like to give a virtual high five to our sponsors at Maxim defense. Because they, again, you know, just want to call to everyone's attention. If you're a customer of Maxim Defense, you have been included in the, um, what do they call it? The temporary injunction blocking mm -hmm. the ATF's disastrously overreaching and absurd right. pistol brace reinterpretation. Um, so I'd like to thank them for keeping me out of prison because I'm too right. pretty for prison. <laughs> Or as most of people, most of the people I've heard just just don't care, non-compliant. So I've heard. I would never do that. You and I can't do that because we are somewhat public figures. We have to be sure we follow the law. And law says, I'm a GOA member. I'm an FPC member. I'm a customer of Maxim Defense. I have injunctive relief all over the place. Everywhere. If I could just get poison ivy relief as thorough as the injunctive relief that I have, I'd be in good that's shape. You, that's how you caught the poison ivy. Mm, could be. I'm going to apologize to everyone right now. I don't know if you can hear it. You probably can't. Um, the studio that I, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, poor planning. I made my broadcast studio on the third floor of Gear Report headquarters. Uh, that's the top floor. And there were three skylights above me. And we got a storm going on right now. So if oh, yeah. you hear something that sounds like drumming in the background, that is very large raindrops hitting the different. Um, it's been storming everywhere. It's been storming down here, here every day. Yep. Every day. Like normally we get our, our afternoon thunderstorms. These are just like, oh no, we're coming mm -hmm. in. Yeah, we're gonna double a bunch of rain. We're gonna blow like sixty miles an hour, and you're like, huh? Yeah. And then we got a bunch of hurricanes rolling in through from Africa. That sounds festive. Apparently, I know one, two. I think there's four of them out there. Four disturbances right now. But once once they start that pattern going down towards Cuba, then I know it's just one after another, just coming coming to Florida. Come on. Maybe they'll bring you some cigars from Cuba. Maybe, dude. That'd be awesome. Couple yeah. bales float up on the beach of tobacco. Tobacco. Yeah. 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 So let's see. 
He just gun oh, care. Yeah. Hey y'all. Hey, hey y'all to you. Hey y'all. Yeah. And uh and uh <laughs> <laughs> that was that was some redneck hey y'all right there. Yeah. Sort of yeah, uh, for any of the people who know who know TJ and I's friend uh, Brantley, I was kind of ch- I was channeling, I was I was channeling Brantley. Mm-hmm. Just uh, nope. and speaking of that, Buckley's been watching as well. No way. <laughs> all right. He's all like, Dude, all the people the from way back when. That's awesome. Well, and Norm was here a couple week or two ago. I know. So we we got all the people from back back in the day, back all the all the guys from the hood, mm-hmm. back in the college days. That was fun. So I got to talk about speak, speaking of the the rain and everything. Um, I was supposed to go hiking yesterday, and the way the rain and everything was, I was like, I'm not going to be the one who cancels this. It was a family trip, right? I'm not going to be the one who who cancels it and we get up and we look at the forecast and it's like a low of 50 and a high of 60 and we're supposed to go wednesday camp overnight and then be there thursday do hiking wednesday and thursday and then camping overnight and i'm like crap it's gonna rain and then it's not gonna get above 60 and it's gonna be overcast it's gonna rain the whole time like i'm not really thrilled about doing this but i'm not gonna be the wuss who cancels it and fortunately my son stepped up and said you know, would you really be upset if we canceled and did something else? Because this doesn't sound like fun. Like we all wanted to go hike and see cool stuff. We're going to go to Grace at Highlands, which is one of the most awesome places to hike and backpack in the kind of mid East coast area. It's in uh, Virginia. Really cool. So we ended up at the North Carolina history museum instead. And then North Carolina science museum. And at the, at the history museum, uh, they've got a whole bunch of different displays with really cool different firearms. So I got my my family makes fun of me. It doesn't matter where we go. I'm like, oh, I get video yep. of that. I'm like, <laughs> oh, they're rolling their eyes. What are you gonna do with this? You what are you gonna put that on Instagram? It's like, people, I I got sure six YouTube you channels. It's going somewhere. I got a place for everything. It, it's gonna go up. So I got a whole bunch of gun video really cool historic guns that uh that i got there at the north carolina history museum and then i think it was at the science museum they had a special display of like some armed forces themed display and they had some really cool guns up in there as well um so i got a i got a, a bunch of neat stuff that's going to start popping up on the gear report firearms channel at some point when i have time to to pull all that video and get it up there Mm-hmm. So that'll be fun. Um, That's the- man, no joke. It, it is raining hard, and I noticed yeah. the backyard is already a swamp. So, oh geez, uh, we got some areas that don't drain as well as they could, and uh, unfortunately, I I had to drive the Humvee across the backyard last summer when it was a little soupy. And I was trying to get my big military tents, of which I still have a few portable castles, if anyone needs one. Uh, When I was donating four of those tents to Philmont Scout Ranch to use in their backcountry, I was trying not to take the truck in the backyard to to pull the trailer because I knew it was going to tear the yard up. And so I was using the lawn tractor and it got stuck. And I was like, I had no choice. I had to go. pull the Humvee back there and pull it out. I tore the crap out of the yard and one low spot where it was soupy, it sunk in and it just made it even more of a rut. So now the water collects there sooner and it gets even soupier. So my yard's going to be a mess for months, which means that probably someone's going to want to buy my Humvee trailer now because it's back. Like I can't get it out without driving the Humvee back there and it'll just tear the yard up even more. There you go. So that means someone's probably going to want to buy it now. Oh, well, sure. And they're going to try to lowball me, and they're not going to understand why I'm like, yeah, no, it's okay. Because I don't want to turn my yard into a mud pit going back to get it out. Yeah. If they want to pay more, maybe I'll go get it. But 
they're going to, if they're going to haggle, they're going to find out real quick. Like, nope, not interested. I'll just keep it. There you go. For now. Yeah. The weather's, the weather's just been jacked. Taylor was, Taylor was flying to New York and her flight, one flight got canceled. She got a different flight and then it was delayed. So hmm. she's supposed to lay, she's supposed to leave at like, I think it was like 11 in the morning, ended up leaving at like nine o'clock at night. Just, mm. dude, the storms would just hover, you know, it's Orlando. They just hover over there. Mm -hmm. Super bad lightning and wind. So they just shut the, wow. shut the airport down like, nah. So. That's a miserable travel when that happens. I know. You, you start your trip with a big delay. Mm. Not good. I know. I just, I just don't want to, I don't want to get stuck on the plane and not be able to get beverage services. That's all I care about. Like if I ever, that ever happens to me, I'm be like, listen, ring a ding, ding. Let's go get that cart going. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you open the door and pull the little handle, it'll deploy an inflatable oh, I know. slide. I know. And there's supposed to be a blast. Let me think. Have I ever done one? I don't know. I may have done one. Listen, if one I get point. if I get stuck on the tarmac in a plane and they refuse to give me my beverages, I might. And I will wear a gear report shirt and the video will be rolling. So that's all I ask. That's I know. Listen, those yeah. are the rules. Yeah, I think maybe and then TJ won't be on the show for a while. But other than that, it'll be great. Listen, it, it depends. You need to do it in in a one of the areas I'm trying to decide how do I want to say this? Um, let's just be honest. If you do it in a Democrat controlled area, yep. then you will have all sorts of free shit in prison. You'll probably, they'll probably give you like a laptop and probably when put me in prison. Internet. Probably when they put me in prison. And, um, they'll be like, oh no. Yeah. You know, you can do the show from prison. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be easier They'll, they'll, they probably have like a, a broadcast wifi. studio <laughs> set up just for people in prison. Um, now, don't do it in, you know, uh, in one of the areas where a conservative person's running things because it's actually oh. prison there. I know. And then we wouldn't be able to have you I'll on have the show. To, I'll have to, like, hey, DeSantis, come on, hook me up, buddy. Yeah. I mean, not being on the show is what the part that would bother me. The the involuntary butt sex is probably the part that you're worried about. That might that might bother and, me. Just depends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You know the show's getting good when we start referencing involuntary butt sex. Yeah. It's, I felt it's like fun. the show needed spiced up. There you go. Defense ad said yo yo yo. Frankly, it made me uncomfortable. Yeah. I bet it did. Yeah, so I mean, a lot of people uh, you know something you I keep that. thinking about. <laughs> That's why I said it again, just to be yes, sure. Exactly. If it didn't make yeah. them uncomfortable the first time, <laughs> I wanted to catch them on the second yep. pass. Oh yeah, yeah, they're all like, "What did he say?" Oh my, he just oh, that, he did say that. All right. Oh whoa whoa. Yeah yeah why not? Got a foamer. Yeah. All right, let's see here. What are you doing? Going what are you looking at? To add to stream. Oh, jeez. Oh, and it's. Uh, I wonder if I can enlarge this to make it so anyone can oh, read there it. There we go. Your bard. Go. All right. Is Google's AI solution? And oh, here we go. And we can see what Google protects. We're, we're glad you back. My up. activity verification. Oh, he missed the reference. Okay. That's all right. That's why oh, he's interesting. back. You heard, you heard oh, one second. What? Yeah. <laughs> Popped right back in the second. <laughs> I think I missed it. Stacy called <laughs> him and said, <laughs> You're missing it. Get back on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, there you what go. is this week of gear report? That's what I'm going to do. I am going to, um, but where oh that's activity i don't want activity i want to go back to here and 
I, so let's just see. I want, to, I want to see where they massacred my name for some I've reason. I corrected the AI a couple times. I want to see if they actually name either of us and, and do so appropriately. I, I just want to say why they attempted to do last names. They can just do TJ Jeff Comar. This week at Gear Report is weekly live interactive show hosted by the Gear Report team. I'm reading what, what Bard says to is the this question. This new one? What Did you just redo this? I just ran it. Yeah. Oh, geez. Let's see what we get. Look at this. All right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're this, uh, this is so <laughs> aggravating. Oh, I can tell. I'm going to keep reading. Okay. The All show right. Keep reading. A variety of topics related to gear, including reviews, upcoming reviews. And I'm looking off screen because it's on the other screen here. Right, um, including reviews, upcoming reviews, gear news, and interviews with gear manufacturers. Uh, let's see. Viewers can ask questions and interact with the host during the show. That's a good reminder, Bard. Thank you. Uh, this is an interactive program, folks. Feel free to ask questions, make comments, make fun of the gun snob, whatever it is that makes you happy. Yeah. Um, make fun of me. Make fun of Jeff. Do something that'll make make Gary ban you. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He hasn't kicked anybody off in a while. Yeah, so I'll keep reading. The show is typically released on Thursdays, which is good. It said Tuesdays last time. So I know. I <laughs> Thursdays, right. And it's available to watch on YouTube, Facebook, and Gear Reports website. Well, you can't watch it on the website. It got that part wrong. The most recent episode, this week at Gear Report episode 166, was released on June 15th, 2023. That was correct. Good. Okay. Now we are about to go wholesale right. off the rails. Okay. Here, and this is what it says, here are some topics that have been covered on this week at Gear Report. Uh, reviews of new gear, such as the Maxim Defense Recon 300 <laughs> pistol. still there. <laughs> and the Deadfoot Arms Air 15 upper. No. No and no. We're not getting one I of those? don't even know if there is a Maxim Defense Recon 300 pistol. I think that, that it just made that up. I think Bard made that up. Deadfoot Arms Air 15 upper. Well, we did talk about a Deadfoot Arms Air 15 offer. Ted, Ted came on and talked about it. Yeah. So, okay, I'll kind of give him a pass on that one. Uh, upcoming reviews. Oh, this is festive. Upcoming reviews such as the Sig Sauer P365 <laughs> XL. We're still hung up on that. Who's, who's doing the review on that one? Who gets that one? I wasn't aware we were going to do that. So, oh, damn, this is bizarre. Now. I was all excited. Like, oh, I'm getting a new gun. Sweet. And the Vortex Razor HD Gen 3 1 to 6 by 24. Do they even make one of those? Like I have the 1 to 10 by whatever it is. Is that by a 24? Uh, do they even make an HD Razor Gen 3 1 to 6? Uh, probably eight years I ago. I don't know. I've never talked about it. Like I did why would anyone talk about the 1 to 6 when you can get a 1 to 10? Like it doesn't make sense. Ooh. All right. Gear news such as the release of the new Garmin Forerunner 955 smartwatch. What? I, I never. I don't believe anyone on Gear Report has ever talked about the Garmin Forerunner we, 955. No, I think and we looked at them at, at Shot Show one year, didn't we? Stop by the Garmin booth like but years ago. But we didn't ago. talk about a specific. No. Oh no! Right. And the announcement of the 2023 Philmont Scout Ranch hiking season. Okay, we have talked about that some. Yep. Uh, interviews with gear manufacturers such as representatives from Maximum Defense, Deadfoot Arms. Those are both true. Vortex mm -hmm. Optics, completely made up. We have never had anyone from Vortex Optics on this program. Yeah. But they're better. When yep. I ran this a couple days ago, every point of what they said we had done was completely fabricated and made up. And now at least some of the things are correct. If you're interested in gear, this week at Gear Report is a great way to stay up to date on the latest gear news and reviews. You could also interact with the Gear Report team and ask them questions about gear. Who are the hosts? That was pretty good. Didn't say this time. Should I should I ask? Ask ask who the hosts of oh, yeah. <laughs> Gear Report. Who are the hosts <laughs> of Chat, we need a whole new section of Ask Chat GPT. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one's Bard. This or Ask Bard at Gear Report Podcast. Who are the hosts of this week at Gear Report Podcast? All right. Was it Ask B A R D? 
Ask Bard AI. Oh, they're learning. Better. They're uh -oh. learning. But make it, but they are absolutely making shit up. Oh, this is. <laughs> there you go. All right. I'm, I'm going to read it. Okay. The hosts of this week at Gear Report podcast are Jeff, TJ, and Kevin. So at least he didn't make up last names for okay, us. Okay, nice. That's good. Jeff's the founder and editor-in-chief of Gear Report. He's been writing about gear for over 10 years and is an expert in a wide range of topics, including firearms, camping, and outdoor gear. I do refer to myself as an expert. It's up to Dude, you whether that... You know, that's got you. you that's got you pegged. I don't know. TJ is the managing editor of Gear Report. When did this happen? <laughs> Dude, that's right. I mean, you're practically sit down, sit down, son. The practically <laughs> the managing editor. I mean, for all intents and purposes, but but you've never had that title. They just made that up. I he have has new been writing now. about gear for over five years and is an expert in firearms. Okay, survival oh. gear. No, that's made up. Yeah, that's and made up. Could, tactical gear. Eh. Nah, I mean, you you've been around some tactical gear, but eh. an expert. No, mm. I I think that the Bard got a little fast and loose with the description here. All right, Kevin is moving um, up in the gear report. I mean, he so, called me um, an expert on a bunch of things that I have a past more than a passing knowledge. But is he really? But, but am I really an expert? I don't know. They they called you an expert in some things that that eh, I don't know. Yeah. Kevin is the video producer for Gear Report. <laughs> that is wholesale made up. <laughs> Kevin has never Dude. done video for Gear Report. Kevin has written one or two articles, and he comes on the program sometimes. Or he did before he started his own podcast and abandoned us. That's it. He's okay? a video editor of his podcast. Is Komar I even was... mentioned? No. Dude. Uh, was okay. I'd Back be pissed right now. He's been working in video production for over 10 years and is an expert at shooting, editing, and producing video content wholesale fabricated as far as i know i don't as as believe know. i don't know I don't what kevin does kevin has that background kevin is in the army army national guard or reserves whatever and he is a suppressor selling maniac yes and he he does do a little video stuff but i've never heard him described as like the video producer for gear report Wholesale made up on the spot. He wants he just texted me. He said he wants some new business cards. Oh, no, yeah, no doubt. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna keep reading here. The three hosts have a wealth of experience in the gear industry and are passionate about sharing their knowledge with others. Okay, I'll buy that. Uh, there are all they are always up to date on the latest gear news and reviews, and they're always happy to answer questions from listeners. Let's not push things too much. Happy to answer questions. Yeah. I well, tolerate questions sometimes. Yeah. Okay, and sometimes I'm happy, but whatever. So this the the this week at Gear Report podcast is a great way to learn about the latest gear news and reviews. Okay, Bard, you're winning me over again. Thank right, you. Right. It's uh, and it continues. <laughs> it is also a great way to interact with the Gear Report team and ask them questions about gear. You can listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or Gear Report's website. Okay, Ooh. they came in strong at the end. I'll give them that. In Bard, we trust. Yeah, Rod. <laughs> I yeah, I hear you. Um, let's see who uh, who is the genius behind the <laughs> Aegis Gun Care Empire. Let's see what it says. I hope I didn't oversell him in this one. Dude, Komar says nobody mentions me. We mentioned you. I, we just did mention you. Bard. You have, you have to get up a bar, dude. A couple days ago when I was when I was on Monday when I was playing with with Bard and Chat GPT, um, it actually said Jeff something. They gave me a last name, TJ Jeff Williams something. or something like that. I think it was Jeff Williams. Was and Williams. yours was Shook. Was TJ my, Shook. Yeah, my, TJ right? Shook. I was like, where the hell did they get that from? And then Komar. Like didn't say full name, just said Komar. <laughs> like, is that a first name, last name? No clue. It just you confused Chat GPT. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Who's the genius behind the e Aegis Gun Care 
gun care empire. The genius behind the Aegis gun care empire is Jenna Smith. Okay. Bard, I'm I'm maybe losing faith here. She's the founder and CEO of Aegis Gun Care, a company that specializes in gun cleaning and maintenance products. Jenna is a self-described gun nerd who has been passionate about firearms since she was a child. Maybe that's Rod's started only man's Aegis name. Gun Care <laughs> in 2015. <laughs> like, what the hell? I don't even want to read any of this anymore. Written a book on gun care and safety. What? A role model for women in the gun industry. Well, is he this is. a real person? He's a stud. Is this a real person or is this completely fabricated? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, who is... The gun snob. The real... There we are. Gun snob. <clears throat> We're going to find out the truth's up on everybody tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it says, uh, Rod, don't let Shelly know about your girlfriend, Jenna. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Whoa. They got videos and stuff. There are many gun out. snobs out there, but some of the most notorious include Jerry Mikulik, <laughs> In Range TV, and Hickok 45. Well, that was disappointing. That was very disappointing. Yeah. Mm. No, no gun snob mentioned, huh? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, uh, let's see. Tell me about. I'm going to put it in quotes. The gun snob YouTube channel. And it's working. The Gun Snobs YouTube channel hosted by Kent Nelson. Are we allowed to say his Whoa. last name on this program? Whoa, what the hell? They got the him right. Known and me wrong? Reviews of firearms, ammunition, and gun accessories. Nelson? I've never heard anyone refer to him as Nelson. We're, we're going to roll with it, though. Nelson is a self-described gun snob. And he's not afraid to share his opinions on what makes a good, oh, that's in quotes too, gun. The channel has over 30 million, no, 30,000 subscribers. And its videos have been viewed over 10 million times. The Gun Snob is known for his in-depth reviews and its humorous videos. It's, I got, I, I saw that. It's mm -hmm. interesting. Nelson is a skilled shooter, and he's able to explain the technical aspects of firearms in a way that's easy to understand. So easy, even I could understand it. I, I understood it. So easy, even Bard could understand it. All right. There you go. That wasn't too terrible. Does he have many humorous videos about guns? Because they keep mentioning humor. I think they're serious, but maybe they're taking him as humorous. Yeah. I don't know. Got lots of different references on here. All right. I hope this helps, it says. That did help. Yep. I feel I much think. better about it. Well, yeah. That one was closer go. to right, I think. We're going to we're gonna have to do this every show now, just to see. Like, yeah. who shows I don't, don't want to I don't want to go too deep into this. Maybe we'll save. Maybe maybe that'll be the thing we do. Just we'll we'll pick week. one. We'll pick someone. We get audience <laughs> participation. We'll pick someone. Yep. To put into oh, you need to AI platform. Dude, you need to put out a vote like next week, and then the winner, the winner of the vote, will get Bard AI or Chat GPT. <laughs> Just pick four that random people. Like an awful lot of work. I know. Put out a vote. Snob sounds like Captain America. He does. He absolutely does. Yeah, I think maybe maybe they got that part right, but but at least they didn't give us wrong last names. But they didn't leave Omar completely off, which is a little troubling. <laughs> All right, how long are we into this? An hour and twenty minutes. 
anyone, any, anyone else have anything you want to talk about? Now is your chance to toss something in the comments so that we can discuss before this program ends. Oh, it was a good job, TJ. I didn't see you put an Ask Bard thing up there. Uh, there we can go. create an Ask GPT, Ask Chat GPT for later. And I think there are some other ones. We're going to have to find some other ones. And then maybe we can do like the trifecta. We'll pick, we'll pick someone next week and we'll run them through multiple AIs to see <laughs> what it says about them. <laughs> And we'll I keep asking about us. See. Maybe one day they will get our names right. I, I kind of want to see um, what chat GPT says here because I can't remember. Actually, I probably wanted to go to that one. It's probably full. So much fun messing around with it. Chat GPT. It, well, yeah, I'd it's say uh, disturbing, but uh, let's All see. Right, We're going to do. What are you typing uh, in there, buddy? What is this week? Oops, at gear report. You're getting it live here, folks. If he doesn't read it, then. Oh, it didn't really say much. Um, no. uh, well, let me do that again. Maybe if I say podcast at the end of it. Snob says he's and it, and it does say, looking, looking at memes. He's going to hell over. Oh, like uh, submarine stuff, probably. Yeah, dude. So so many memes. Yeah, it's it's redirecting. It says it doesn't know enough about things that are since 2021. Mm. Well, that shattered my ego. Okay. Yeah. Rod wants to know when Jenna start going to start paying him. <laughs> yeah, really. Isn't that bizarre? So you're supposed to be able to go in and make corrections. Uh, so maybe you need to go run some some of those uh, questions about your brand, and then when it gives you wrong answers, correct them. Because I Ooh. corrected uh, I corrected Bard a couple times, and it eventually, you know, like what you saw today was way better than what I saw on Monday. So it did seem to to get a little. Kevin bit just better. Kevin just popped up out of nowhere though. Instead of Comar, I mean, it starts yeah. with a K. Yep. As our video production goddess, or whatever they called him, <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, so I'm going to show off a product that oh, uh, uh -oh. I want you guys to 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 um, see exactly. You want to go full screen so you, oh, we can yeah, see it? Of course. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to go. Look at that sexy beast. Damn. Well, I'm just teasing oh. people. Um, <laughs> check it out. I have joined the MP3 <laughs> player community. Isn't that amazing? Yes. That is. Fresh from Amazon Vine, I have my very own Android-based MP3 player. How many hundreds of thousands of songs can you hold on that thing? All of them. All of them? No, and it makes me angry that I have one because um, I have a friggin' iPhone, and the way it works with my Windows PC, because I'm not in the Apple ecosystem and i refuse to import in, any of my music into the apple ecosystem and deal with all of their crap on itunes and like they want me to go buy music that i bought years ago it's like i've already bought this i don't want to buy it again just so you can tell me i can play it i've right. owned this for a long time i just want to put it on my phone so i can listen to it when i'm in the car <laughs> and uh yeah right exactly I and missed it, it out on an awesome angry. product from 2007 it makes me angry that apple has made the iphone just difficult enough for me to use that i would rather have a 2007 vintage basically device yep. so that i can load all my music they already own play it in the I car can load it all in here so i can play it in the car when i'm mm -hmm. going on road trips and stuff 
you uh, without you know burning data like using Amazon Music and streaming it or something. Well, I had you. to resort to acquiring a new device because I couldn't make the iPhone work. I spent two years trying to find ways to make it work and eventually gave up and just got a whole Screw new you. device. Screw you, Apple. That's what yeah. happens. See? Good job, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> you really make awesome products, bastards. Yep. I just listen to I like I'll listen all day on uh, iHeartRadio and stuff. Yeah. Well, you have unlimited data, right? Yeah. I have dramatically limited data. <clears throat> so snob just put it's twenty 2020, twenty it's twenty twenty three. You don't have unlimited data. <laughs> Correct. This is Jeff, this is Jeff we're talking about. Yeah. I pay ten bucks. But it's, a month it's funny. I, I was still, even though I have unlimited data, and I paid like crazy cell phone prices. It'll still, after like two weeks of me working every day, cranking my tunes, it'll still pop up like your data usage is blah 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, really? Good. I'm gonna try to bump those numbers up to like ten. Yeah. I was like, you're, you're just saying I've, I've only numbers. used like I've only used four in two weeks. Mm -hmm. I stepped that game yep. up. Yeah. Other things. I'm gonna start playing. Gonna be... I'm gonna start watching YouTube videos at work. <laughs> Don't let your oh. boss catch you. Damn, even Gizzard has unlimited data. I know. I know everyone does, but me. Yeah. Because I'm not willing to pay. Like literally, I have five phones that I pay for in my house, mm -hmm. and I pay with the taxes like almost sixty dollars a month for those five phones. And I have limited data, but the alternative, the only things I've been able to find would triple or quadruple oh the gosh. cost to get yeah. just a little bit more data. When the bulk of what we do, um, you're at the house anyways, we, we got Wi Fi, yeah, right. we got Wi Fi just about everywhere. Um, um, I did upgrade it for Shot Show, I had a couple gig of data for that month, spent an extra mm -hmm. 10 bucks or something. Um, Things that will be reviewed, uh, I'll post some video reviews. This little UFO-shaped alarm clock slash Bluetooth speaker slash, slash crazy light-up thing slash media player. It's got all kinds of stuff. That's going to happen. It's actually my son's going to use that as his alarm clock at school. Um, I want you to note this is an oral thermometer. Okay. All right. That's I couldn't quite, I couldn't read it quite right, and it still has the same amount of le letters or something. I know, else, so. I know. That's why I read it to you. <laughs> and um, this I just is saw a, the AL, and I was like, I know where that's going. A smart device capable, so it'll link through Bluetooth, so you keep track of all of your temperature stuff. <laughs> Snob says his truck even has unlimited data. <laughs> yep, and even Dang. with that, he still can't drive straight. <laughs> Yeah, a guitar neck rest. I'm going to put that video up pretty soon. Um, I think that's all I'm going to talk about for now. I get to, I, I'm surrounded by products, right? I, you know what? I'm going to show you another one. Oh, show us another one. Gizzard have, said uh, Jeff is all about the oral. <laughs> what is that one? Ori Gary said that. Man. Gary said that. Yeah, so this is another one of those Chinese companies that you can't pronounce, and it's a, a big uh, camping sleeping pad that I was going to use Wednesday night when we were camping, but then we didn't actually go. Um, were you, were deep down, where you're like, thank God. I was because it was going to suck. Like, <laughs> if I'm, I, I'll backpack. You, you, you just can't be, you just, listen, just be honest with me. Like, listen, kids, we can go. It's going to suck. Yeah. And they'll be like, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, Snob's right. Vine is getting a lot better lately. Um, another guitar wall mount hanger like the one that's behind me that will hold yeah, five, like a bar well, that you, goes you across. Get them, and you you can get them off the ground because you probably I got 30 of them I'm lying around do, there. I think what I'm going to do is move this one over and then put the other one beside it. So I'll have 10 guitars going across the back. That'll be kind of neat. And, and I've yeah, got, neat. I've got a... I got 10 back there, and I got a rack of 10 right here, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six hangers on the wall, and another rack that holds one, two, three, four, five. And they're not all full, by the way. Um, I actually you have some that. openings, but it's like anyway, saying, I got, my I safe's not my safe's not full, and I'm looking yeah. at it, and it's 
Oh, I hear you. It was like it was like my gun room. My gun room has got stuff just stacked. Like I ran out of room. I built racks. I built more racks. I built more racks. I put some military racks in, and I've still got stuff just stacked on top of them. It's all about the racks. It is. It's all about the racks. I've always been about racks. Yeah. Oops. That's why I married Crystal. Yeah. (laughs) I was waiting. I was waiting for you to go. I, I was I had twenty seven different comments. It was like <laughs> I was waiting. How do I answer that? <laughs> I don't want to just ignore it. But she's asleep by now, listening. so she's not. Even, she's asleep by now. She's not even listening. So well, I was going to say if she's listening, I didn't want her to feel bad. Like you, you got to recognize without like, where's the line? You know, like there's no line, there's no line with me. You no, know, with her. Like I, I don't want her to be like but you always said you loved him. Why, why would you not say, why would you not react? Well, why would you not react to my fun bags? So like, I don't know. Right. Just, but you always looked at them. Like, yes, I did. Like, yes, Crystal. Everybody looked at them. Yep. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, now I'm full, <laughs> fully immersed in Bard. <laughs> see, that was worthwhile. Yeah. See, it listen, worthwhile. now next week when we, when we look up Aegis gun care, yeah, well, we can Jenna, test Jenna may not week. be running the show. Just we saying. can pull it up again next week yeah. and see. So she I want to know. I want to know, Rod. That like, is there Who's another Jenna? Aegis Gun Care that like? Did they just wholesale make that up? Is there any kind of tie in in truth between what they said? Like, can you look at it and go, well, okay, I can kind of see why they said that because this woman runs this other company and it's you know maybe they confused them. Or is it just completely off the wall shit? Like some of the stuff they made up for for Gear Report. Because because I don't know that was just craziness in my opinion. That's funny. Uh, you know what? I want to just see if they say. Uh, I want to see how if I can if I can bait barred into saying something completely like that we all know is obviously made up um i i have a feeling this would be too oddly specific oh what i have to is, what is like... gizzard gary's favorite song it would just would would admit like we have no idea <laughs> i'm looking at the Aegis Gun Care testimonials from Trey Miller, Ghost Tactical, M and W Tactical, Clover Tech. All right, so that's, so let me let me read you what it says here. Uh, what's what Gary's favorite song? There's no definitive. Answer more, he's more. He's more. He's more famous than everybody. He'll, he'll there's, have something. there's no definitive answer to this question as Gizzard Gary has never publicly stated his favorite song. However, based on his interviews and social media posts, it's possible to make some educated guesses. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. One song that Gizzard Gary has mentioned liking is Georgia on my mind by Ray Charles. He has said that he loves the song's melody and lyrics and that it always makes him feel happy and nostalgic. Is this true, Gary? Have you said that? We're Another waiting. song that Gizzer Gary seems to enjoy is Hotel California by the Eagles. He said that he loves the song's atmosphere and guitar work and that it's one of his go-to <laughs> songs when he's feeling stressed. Now, we should recognize that there th- these are some quoted things, which, which you know, should should have some gravitas. <laughs> snob to, to snob, that snob it, said he's he's never weird. heard Gary say that. It would be funny as crap as all of a sudden it goes. And he's also mentioned that he likes uh, Girls, Girls, Girls from Motley Crue. And <laughs> just, just randomly some stuff like, all right. Of course, it's all also right, possible. Here's, because here's because Gary. I don't recall ever mentioning <laughs> Ray Charles and Hotel California is just stupid. Well, apparently, Gary... <laughs> Somewhere there's another Gizzard Gary, and he loves that stuff. Of course, it's also possible that Gizzard Gary's favorite song is something that he's never mentioned publicly. He's a big fan of music. Have you mentioned that, Gary? 
So it's likely he has a wide range of favorite songs. Ultimately, the only way to know for sure what Gizzard Gary's favorite song is would be to ask him directly. However, based on the information that's publicly available, it seems likely that he enjoys songs, songs that are both melodic and atmospheric. Right? Good job, Bard. <laughs> Dude, Gary's like... Hitting it out of the park. Oh, oh what's he, Gary says there's only one possible answer. What is it? We all need to know. Now we're waiting on we're all waiting on Gary. Baby now. got like, back. That's it. Dude, that would be so funny. Carry on my wayward really? son. There you go. All right, all right. Have you not heard Baby Got Back? Come on. Apparently not. You know what's gonna be. What is Jeff from Gear Report's favorite song? Baby got Oh, back. Jeff doesn't know what his favorite song is, but damn it, right. I'm going to check. Oh, Jesus. Because <laughs> you know, you just mentioned it. So I, if it's up there, you know they're listening live. And then we all know to quit talking about it and quit looking it up. Because I actually don't know what my favorite song is. I know well, what I tell find people out. it is. Let's find out what, what they think your favorite song oh, is. They, Hotel California is popular among Bard. Ouch. Jeff's favorite song is Hair? What? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, Biden has the brains behind Bard. Um, Rod, I understand you're upset that your company was completely bastardized in that. Jenna in, took in over. The, in the that, segment, that, you know, biatch. by Bard. But I, know. I think you're being a little harsh with them. Which just uh, Hotel song, California by the Eagles. Okay. I I actually kind of like that song. Used to like it a lot. Don't recall Dude, ever saying if, if that. If Baby Got my... Back comes up, I will I'll be dead. That'll oh be yeah. It. Free Bird by Leonard Skinner. Um no. Not at okay. all. Like not even a little bit. Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. I mean, everyone likes that. Oh, right? dude, who yeah. doesn't like that? I mean, come on. Uh, Stairway to Heaven by Zeppelin. There, uh, not my favorite Zeppelin song. Born to Be Wild by Steppenwolf. Not even close. Nope. It's likely that Jeff's favorite song is something from this list, but it's also popular that he's. Well, but it's also possible that he has a favorite song that he's not mentioned publicly. He's a big fan of classic <laughs> rock. This is true. Um, so it's likely as a favorite song is something in the genre. That means you're on a list. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and it says I like I enjoy songs that are both epic, uh, melodic and epic, which, which yeah, who wouldn't like that? All right, well, then. Since, since we're going down this rabbit hole, see what see what uh, TJ from Gear Reports. Uh, well, I'm just going to tell you the only the only two songs that I've ever mentioned as my favorite song publicly that I'm aware of are "Baby Got Back" and "Disco Inferno." That's it. There's the only two that I ever mention, and "Disco Inferno" I mention over and over and over. Many times you've mentioned "Disco Inferno," right? Wasn't even mentioned. Crazy. What is TJ from Gear Report's favorite song? Well, it. They're like, who's TJ? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be like, that's it. I'm going home. Just... <laughs> uh, Enter Sandman. No. Master of Puppets. No. One. No. One is a freaking awesome song. I mean, it's a great song. The is Trooper it, uh, by Iron Maiden. They're, Ace they're, of they're... by Motorhead. They're really along. The, they're really off. <laughs> He's a big fan of heavy metal, so it's likely his favorite song is something from that genre. No, not a, I am a alternative. Seems fan. likely that he enjoys songs from both he, that are both heavy and totally. melodic. I do. I mean, I love ska, so I'm just saying they're a hair off. Guys, go to my iHeartRadio. Oh, station. it says view other drafts. Let's see what else it says. Oh, there's more than more drafts. Apparently, I have a heavy metal um, sweet field, child everybody. Mine. No, hey, Gus and Rose. welcome to the jungle. Nope. <clears throat> All right, let's go with draft number three. All right. If if like B fifty twos or 
real big fish doesn't come up, then they're totally off. A lot of the Iron trooper. Maiden, dear lord. I mean, I don't, How I don't hate, I, I don't hate Iron Maiden, but three know. Metallicas, two Iron Maidens. They're not on my list, dear lord. You need to branch out, bro. Dude, I've, I've listened different. to them. They're not my favorites. Just throwing it out there. I like mm. happy drinking music. Yeah, that's uh, that's one by Metallica. That's not a happy drinking music song. Yeah, yeah, you're it shakes up my right. it shakes up my beer too much when I'm <laughs> when you're weeping. <laughs> yep. All right. Oh, and I missed the chance to look at my other drafts. All right. Well, oh, there that we was go. See, look, look, Rod's improving. It got closer. What is the history behind Aegis Gun Care? All right. So he's he's informing. He's he's learning the Chat GPT. Yeah. So so if you ask if you ask a more targeted question, and it gave you a better answer, and then you reply with um, the correct answer. Well, that's wrong. Here's what's correct then maybe it will assimilate some of that information. And when you ask again in a week or two, it will have digested yeah. it. And it will regurgitate something less or, made up on the spot. Or a bunch of black SUVs will just show up at your house and that'll be the end. Yeah, which I mean, frankly, anyone watching this show, that's <laughs> anyone probably going to happen anyway. <laughs> Any one of us. Iron Maiden and Metallica, dear lord, gosh, do I have a heavy metal, heavy metal vibe to me? Well, you didn't know. I mean, I'm, I'm James Hetfield looking now with the. I mean, <laughs> the gray, but you know, yeah. and I smoke cigars, so. You know. Does does heavy metal people typically smoke cigars? James does, uh, like like in between sets and stuff. Really? Yeah. You sound like a Metallica fan. I've did I see li where I listen to him. From. Really? It, it should go to my it should go to my uh, my iHeart radio Chicago. stations and it'll it'll pull up like real big fish. Is that a Metallica one, song? No, no. It's it's a ska song. Well, there's B52s on there. Yeah. There's dirty heads on there. There I mean there's it's it's pretty much ska reggae. A little bit of alternative. Every once in a while, a little, a little heavy metal might sneak in from somewhere. I got you. All right. Well, oh my goodness. We're an hour. I know, dude. We're killing it. We've Gee, been we rambling. Rabbit hole with the old chat GPT. That's what I happens. Know. I know. We're, we're going to shut it down now. I've had, okay. a, I've had enough of you jokers. <laughs> and by that, what I mean is, I, I really appreciate everything on my, here. my screen right there. This has been, uh, oh, you got the generic background thing too? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I figured what like, the heck. I'm just going to leave it up there. Um, I tried to do be a little less taxing on the computer for today's show, and it seemed to hold up. It didn't, a do, it didn't do bad. It held up better. That looked good. I think that's kind of the key. So uh, we'll be back next week at 9 p.m. Eastern uh, with another version. That'll be episode 168. This is crazy how many we have done. Look at that. Very informative. informative. We screw up and, and actually offer useful information every now and then on this Once program. in a while. Once yeah. in a while. We, we appreciate everyone being out there and participating and helping us learn more about AI. We'll have to figure out some new and creative things we can do next week. Um, what I'm working up to, and I'm not there yet, right? What I'm working up to is I want to do the whole create create some songs and like explore and play and sing them for you all. But I'm, thinking, I'm, I'm yeah. thinking about two years away from that. <laughs> two years or a couple cases of beer. Uh, well, it just in two years, Chat AI will be able to, or Chat GPT will be able to sing the song for you and play it. Oh, so. it'll just like we, we won't even bother. It'll right. be just like hit the button, start the show. It'll make yep. shit up. Yeah, exactly. Like it does. I mean, we make oh. shit up. Why not them? I mean, yeah. Yeah. So anyhow, um, that's it. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention, yo, everyone, everyone who's out there in the chat. 
uh, gets a lot of packages, I'm sure, right? A bunch of reviewers, a bunch of, you know, business people, whatever. I'm sure you, you receive things, you ship things. Um, the guitar that I received today, this red one in the background, guitars are kind of delicate items. That's a semi-hollow, so it's not Apparently. even like a chunk of wood. There's like more delicate. The box was not even taped shut. When the FedEx guy picked it up out of the back of his truck, the top of the box was like coming off in his hands and he was about to drop the rest of it. It looked like the, like it had actually come open and it had fallen out because it was in a little black carrying case on the inside. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. How incompetent do you have to be? I mean, I Or don't... somebody was looking in there to see what it was and just didn't tape it back. No, no, no. No tape has been applied to the box. Jesus. Like, because I looked all around it. Oh, he's going to, everybody, he's going to show us his box. Nope. I put I mean, the wrong it is, one. It is probably I put the wrong key. one in storage. So the one that's oh. sitting here is for the other one. Um, and that one did get taped. The, uh, I meant to put that in the storage and keep the other one out. But anyhow, I put the wrong one in there. So I don't want to go all the way over to the storage room and get it out. But I don't blame you. Anyhow, no tape at all. It's just, you know, the top. It's not the lid folds shut. It's a bottom part and then a top that fits down over it. And then you tape them together so they don't come apart. No Good tape enough. at all. It's like, are you kidding me? Absolutely amazing. Anyhow, I believe it. We'll see what happens between now and next week. I'm sure we'll have some uh, additional craziness that's happened to us that yeah. we can explore. Yeah, yeah, really. Rod says tonight on Unsolved Mysteries. Mm -hmm. Like, what the hell are people thinking? Anyhow, but that was a replacement because the first one was damaged on the way here, and that box was actually taped shut. Uh, but then the one that they figured made it out, here, see? I think, I think maybe it's like, um, like Albert of bottom paint on a, uh, on a boat where, you know, the, the stuff grows on it and it falls off yeah. or like armor on a Humvee where it gets blown up and it falls off and, you know, it absorbed the impact. Maybe that's what the box is meant to come apart and absorb the energy when it comes apart. You had to pay maybe. extra for tape. Yeah, that's probably it, Gary. Um, and with that, um, I'll, I'll tell you how we're going to sign out today. Is it a point at the screen? Since we know that Hotel California is one of Gary's favorite songs, TJ is going to sing us out TJ's with a stirring rendition, rendition of Hotel California. TJ is not going to sing us out with that. By the Eagle. Yeah. <laughs> and Rod's got to get back to Bard. Bard. It's a rat hole, bro. Be careful. No, me, I'm, listen, I'm going to. Type in a bunch of your report stuff in here. If I'm gonna hey, fix, I'm gonna get, fix my freaking last name. <laughs> if if I get a note from Shelly tomorrow saying, "What'd you do to my husband? Yeah, he stayed Who's up this, all night." Who the hell's Jenna? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so not my fault. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, wait, I'm out of beer. More. I'm out of beer, anyways, dude. I've got to. Yeah, all right, got to restock. And with that, dude, did you just wet your finger to point at the camera? No, I was <laughs> drinking a smoothie oh. and I was trying oh. to clean it off the inside of the cup. It's like margarita. And then smoothie, margarita, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I got some bulk coconut and put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary. Uh, he wants you to sing that. For the kill at the end. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in Jeff's hair. Oh, sorry. 